Hello everyone, welcome to Weekly Tech and today in this video we are going to discuss about JavaScript this keyword or variable. I know it's one of the most annoying and confusing topics in JavaScript but hey don't worry you are at the right place. In the next coming 5 minutes we are going to discuss about all the aspects and basic thumb, golden thumb rules that we need to keep in mind and if you do so then we can answer any of the interview questions and we can use the this keyword in the logic that we can that we can build for our clients without any hesitation we'll be able to use this without any hesitation and without any confusion so what is this this is a very special variable in javascript you can also call it a keyword or a variable but this variable is always gets created for every execution context that means it's not static it depends on how the function by function i mean where in that function where we are using the this keyword so by the function i mean we are using the this keyword inside that function so it depends how we are calling that function so the value of the this keyword will be assigned as per the as per the call that we are calling it the way we are calling it so the the first thumb rule that we want to keep in our mind is the this keyword takes the value of the owner function that means whosoever is calling that function inside which we have written that you or we have used the this keyword that this value will be associated by that owner so this is the most important golden, uh, golden rule that you need to keep in mind and we'll discuss five to three scenarios and the usage of this that can come in front of us when we are doing code in live production so the first case is when we are calling it as a method for, uh, let's take an example let me quickly code something for you so that you can get an idea of what actually i'm talking so let me let me de declare a variable by variable or let me declare a function for you let's say the function name is let calculate age equal to function it will take an year and based on that it will do a console.log simple simple console.log and it will console the year and here we want we are interested in consoling the this keyword we are not even interested in the year key uh, year argument now what do you think if i call this function what will the value of this so now we need to remember the rules so the second rule is when it is a simple function call then the value of the this keyword will be the window object in the browser and in node.js it's a completely different global object but in case of browser when it is a simple function call it will be the window object in the normal mode but when we are using the strict mode it will be undefined and if you want to know more about the strict mode then you can click on the i button that is coming on the top right corner of your video and we have thoroughly discussed about the strict mode over there but for now let's stick with the this keyword so in case of simple function call by simple function call i am not calling or not saying about the arrow functions it's just a regular function normal function call in case of strict mode the value will be undefined and in the case of non strict mode it will be the global window object in case of arrow functions the this keyword will take the value of its surrounding functions by fun surrounding function by by this i mean that the arrow functions does not have the, its own this scope that this value inside the arrow function is not at all there in case of arrow function remember this this point and we'll discuss more on, on that the four and the most the fourth and the most important point that you keep in mind is this does not point to the function itself that means if we are calling this or if you are using that this keyword inside a function then that this keyword will not point to that function by this let me clear it perfectly for you by giving an example so for now 
as per the rules that we have discussed this is a simple function call a normal function and we are consoling the value of this this is not a strict mode so as per our rules in a case of a function call when it is not an arrow function and we are not in the strict mode this should give us the window object this is in front of you but if i use the strict mode that we should use always then it will give us then it will give us undefined let me clear it again if you don't use the strict mode it will give you the window object in case of a normal function call but when it is not it is it's in the strict mode it will give you undefined just like this now let's come to the arrow function in the same way okay so let me declare the same function cal my cal age arrow this is a simple arrow function and we are interested in the this value so take a pause and think about it when we call the arrow function just just remember the rule when we call an arrow function that this keyword will not this will point to the lexical scope this will not have its own value okay it will point go back to the ppt this surround the, the, in the case of arrow function the value of this will be the surrounding function or the lexical scope what is the lexical scope of this function if this is sitting inside this cal edge arrow function then what is the lexical scope the global scope so this will have the global scope and in this case this will have the window object don't get confused if you are in the strict mode don't get confused between two rules in case of a normal function call here is the catch in case of a normal function call in strict mode this will will contain undefined this will be undefined but arrow functions will have the value of its surrounding functions or the lexical scope so in this case that this keyword its lexical scope is the global scope don't see about this strict mode okay don't mix the two rules arrow function has its own rule and for normal function it's their own rule now coming to the second part the second part is let me quickly create a function let's say uday details sorry an object and in that object i want i will give the name uday sing and let me create a function inside this the function will be print name okay and this function will print the this dot name okay so when we call uday details let me cons comment out this so our console will be clear and when we call uday details dot print name function so our first rule let's come to the first rule the method the method object that is calling the method object uday details that is calling the method if we are calling a method by an object or if an object is calling a method or a function then the this keyword will have the value of that object so in that case in this case uday details is calling the print name function so the this value the this keyword will hold this whole object uday details i'll save it and i'll run it same here this the value of this is the object is itself and you'll have the console.log here let me clear it and let me take it to the next level let's say i have another uh, object and let's say let john details in john details i have only one field that is the name john let's say john 
and I can do this in JavaScript. This John details dot I'll assign a new function to it print name equal to Uday details dot print name. So most of the developers do it just to copy the, the method or the functions of an object to a different object and this is totally illegal in JavaScript and most of the developers do this. So now John details is a completely new object and we are creating a new method is the same method let's say print name uh, one I'll change the name okay so now the function name will be print name one and just for the sake of clarity I want to keep both the names same print name and in other details and we are copying the function of other details object print name to John details and now if I call this object this objects function similarly the way we did before if I call it like this what do you think what will be the output now the this is the same function here but now this print name will be by is getting called by which object the John detail object so now the this value now this keyword will hold the value of the object which is calling our first rule this object in case of the normal method call from an object it will hold the value of the object calling it so now in this case this will hold the John details and that's it in, in the first call it's holding the Uday or the Uday details object in the next call it is holding the John object now if I want to change the name I can change it and it will work in the same fashion is the same thing okay so stick to the rule till now we have discussed pretty of three to four rules stick with them there won't be any problem now let's come to the last part of this is calling it in a separate or global way let's say I can do this in JavaScript let's say let f we have or my func equal to and I will assign And I copy the whole function my func to my func the print name function I'll, I'm assigning the value or I'm creating a new function my func by using the print name function of their details object and I can call my func like this it's totally legal like I'm, I can call the function like this so think for a moment pause it this video and now this is the last part and you need to be correct my func is an individual call in case of a normal function call in case of a simple function call it will be undefined in strict mode otherwise the window object in the normal mode so what do you think what my func will have what my func will give let's see it's type an error because it's not able to read the name of undefined why because this is undefined why because we are in the strict mode now if I comment out the strict mode and I run it in the normal mode and I want to see the value of this in this case the name is not defined in this case the, this value stick to our rule if it is not a strict mode and it's a normal function call just like this then this keyword is a normal function call it's not an error function defined here it's just a normal function in this case in non strict mode this value will hold the window object and in our case when we are not using the strict mode it's a normal function call then the, this keyword will be the window object and the window object won't have any key like this so in our case that this will have this will hold the window object like this I'll refresh it for several times just to see the correct output okay so it's the non strict mode and this will hold the window object so if you stick with these four three to four golden rules that normal function call strict mode uh, it, this will be undefined non strict mode this will be window object in case when you are calling it through uh, an object this will hold the objects value this will hold the this will point to the object which is calling it in case of arrow function arrow function does not have this on this value it totally depends on the lexical scope in our normal normal function call in a normal function call of an arrow function the lexical scope for this will be the global object 
global object is the window object and in, in that case that this will hold the window object don't miss other rules with the help of these three simple golden rules you'll be able to crack any questions and you will feel comfortable about that just go ahead with any other question and let me know in the comment section if you find something else that will not suit this rule will help and we'll discuss on that that's all with this video i hope you like it please like share and subscribe and share with your friends and let me know if you have any comments and such thanks a lot